What's up? My name is Juan Gotti. On this channel, you can get to know me by my childhood nickname, Chewy. I'm 20 years old and I'm lost with life. I'm not afraid to admit it. And I know it's typical for people in their early 20s to not know what it is that they want to do with their life. However, this generation is different in my opinion. In this generation, if you're not in college, if you're not in the military, if you're not a social media influencer making millions of dollars, it seems like you're a bum uh, at this age. Now, I know, again, older generations, you're just now finding yourself. But in this generation of social media, it has made it so hard to be a regular teenager slash early adult stage because people both post in their life, people 15, 16, 17, becoming these millionaires and the typical age group of where you're just finding yourself, you're now put in a state to where you have to grow up faster. You have to have this at this age because of what they have. And I'm guilty as charged of that. I've always felt like that. I never 100% knew what it is I wanted to do because I've always looked at other people and looking at what they got and looking like I'm not doing nothing with my life. I need to be doing something. And um, I struggled with finding my way, finding my own, find, just focusing on me because social media is a big impact of my generation's life. Now, I know I'm not the only one that feels like that, feels like this, but I want to speak out on it because I feel comfortable enough to do so because I know there's a lot of people that feel like me and I know there's a lot of people that typically get on social media and fake their image and not show this real side. But I'm going to be that difference. Again, I don't know what it is I want to do in my life. I recently just got out of the military before it was too late. Um, part of me feels like I should have stayed. I do have my moments where I'm like, dang, what if I should have just stayed um, at Fort Jackson and stuff like that. But I already made a decision not to. And I get my heart, so I, get my, my, I beat myself up about a lot of decisions. That's also another thing that plays into a factor of my life right now is I've always, I always live in a what if state. I always live in the past. It's hard for me to move on with a lot of things. It really is. Um, I didn't go to college right after, right out of high school. Didn't really know how to pay for it. Um, not poor by any means, but again, in this society, school is so um, incredibly expensive. So I didn't know how to pay for it. Uh, Military was always something that I was hesitant on doing because I was scared. But I tried it and, again, got out of it. Um, YouTube is always something that I've done. I have a main channel where I talk about the Washington Commanders and NFL. But I'm at the point with that where it's like I don't know if this is going to be able to help me progress in life and pay my bills and get my own house, get my own car at that point, at this point. I love making music. Um, but I've never had the confidence to put it out. I've always struggled with having the confidence with putting it out because I care so much about what people think. And I don't want, I hate being judged, even though I've been getting judged all my life. Being judged is a form of bullying, <laughs> honestly. It is. I know a lot of people don't want to say that, and I know a lot of people want to have tough skin. But if you always have the time to judge someone, um, you don't never know how it affects them. And, you know. I'm kind of used to it now because it's been all my life, but that has affected a lot of things, you know. And it, it does have a part to do with where I'm from and the, the area I grew up in. My area I grew up in is very judgmental, and you really can't be yourself because um, if you're not like everybody else, you consider champ. You champ if you try to be different, <laughs> you know. And that has made it very hard to attempt things. Because my music isn't the typical shoot, shoot people, smoke weed, all that. Only because that's not my lifestyle. Why would I get on the mic line and rapping about something that I don't live? But I do enjoy music. I enjoy fashion. I enjoy putting clothes on and feeling good and taking pictures and stuff like that. Um, truth is, I don't even know what I want to do with this channel. Kind of lost with that. I don't know what it is I want to do for work. In real life, because right now YouTube isn't something that's, you know, paying paying enough of me to, uh, you know, kind of survive on my own. 
you know and again that's part of my fault for going away for so long when i when i did decide to go away and go to the military however that's the state of where i'm in right now and i just want to be honest and real because i know a lot there's a lot of facade and fakeness on social media but i want you to know that there is a side of social media that's like this and no this isn't a sad video this is just more of a real video because i know there's a lot of people that feel just like me in their early 20s feeling like they're lost for life because they're not in college they're not in the military they're not a social media influencer you know stuff like that but it's okay um hopefully <laughs> hopefully right because um the only reason why i say hopefully because i'm hoping that this can reach some somebody that can help me and give me advice you know, um, I don't know who is going to see this video, but I'm hoping someone does. That's the reason why I'm hoping that it's okay, you know. But, yeah, that that's just uh, the truth about me. I'm 20 years old, and I'm currently lost with life. I don't know what it is that I want to do. And um, I'm hoping that one day uh, I can it can click, you know. Maybe this channel is the start of something new. I'm not sure. That's all I got for right now. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section and give me some advice. If people come across this video, let me know. Help me because I desperately need it. Y'all have a blessed day. See y'all later. Peace.